Yo, what's up? This is Rockland. Today on Pass with Kings, we're gonna go over the ins and outs of hanging out in Punta Cana. In game. Guess who's back? Pass with Kings. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. Ever since the first time I visited Punta Cana, it's always been my plan to go back. The Dominican Republic has many exciting places to vacation. But I had just come from the Boca Chica, Santa Domingo area with my buddies and going back to the Dominican Republic was not high on my priority list. Actually, this same weekend I had plans to come back to Jamaica as the song says. But the week we were booking it for, thank God we learned that there was some big LGBT festival going on out there for that entire weekend. I'm not homophobic, but I never partied at gay clubs and I didn't feel like lounging around in a gay resort. But I still very much wanted to get out of the country for a few days. My travel company had just experienced a major financial victory and I wanted to celebrate. However, I don't think I was ready to spend a significant amount of my time off on a plane for just a few days vacation. So I searched my travel portal and found out the best deals for close travels abroad was in Punta Cana. I got a deal for the resort called Occidental, packed a small bag and we were out. I would say that this hotel and city caters to couples that want to have a raucous good time. I could also see a group of dudes or a group of women going just to vacation with each other. But a solo traveler on the prowl would probably fare better elsewhere in DR. Some people are now acting like resorts are somehow the less cool thing to do when compared to roughing it out in a downtrodden foreign neighborhood. I grew up in downtrodden areas. I did everything I could to move up and out. It's not that amusing to go back, even if it's in another country. I'm quite certain they say this just to cover up the fact that they want cheap adventures, cheap experiences, and cheap women. When I travel, I want to experience the best that the place has to offer. Not to say that this part of Punta Cana was super expensive, because it was not. And I know that there were more extravagant hotels around, but at least they had order, water filtration systems, and organized events for tourist enjoyment. Occidental Punta Cana is an all-inclusive resort with a gorgeous setting along Bavaro Beach. On Bavaro Beach, we were around the area's restaurants, bars, and casinos. It had three freshwater pools, including an oceanfront with a zero-entry option. Free water sports including kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, and hobby cat catamarans were available. They had air-conditioned rooms with king or double beds, flat-screen TVs, and balconies. When you look out of the window, you will be faced with all of the oceanside scenery that you think of when you think of the Caribbean. The air smelled fresh and the ocean was visibly clean. Metamorphosis is the resort's full service spa with services like massages, facials, waxing, body wraps, and fish pedicures. The salon took care of manicures, pedicures, and haircuts. The gym was stocked with cardio machines, free weights, and resistance machines personal training sessions were available for a fee. A small basketball court and Pachu tennis court are available with free rackets and ball rentals. There's a fee for tennis lessons, playing at night, and for hiring a ball boy. Pause. Other resort amenities include a clinic, sundry, and gift shops, and an ATM. Occidental can arrange airport transfers, taxis, car rentals, tours, and babysitters for a fee. Like many Punta Cana resorts, Occidental has premium pools and the Royal level that comes with perks like private check-in, free Wi-Fi, members only bars, private dining, room service, lounges, pools, and a private beachfront area. Parking was also free. They actually have free Vegas style shows that was packed with a lot of laughs and on stage crowd participation. The hoax was hilarious and finished off every segment with a ridiculously hyperactive dance routine that cracked me up. One of the nights there, there was a beachside outdoors night party where they played all of the hits from two-story high speakers. The entire place was jamming and the vibes was all good. We also heard so much about the cave. It was really called Imagine. From the flyers and people we spoke to about it, it was made out to be a place where you scale down into a living, breathing cave and party without restrictions. All right, so we're coming out of the hotel and now we're about to go to the cave, which is like an underground party. So. I was really hyped to see it. 
I love doing things that I've never done before. When I got there, it was indeed a living, breathing cave, and there was a party going on in it, but it was just a little bit too clubby. Don't get me wrong, I still had a great time. People were definitely hooking up with each other and being a bit more uninhibited than normal. But I guess I imagine it would be a place for hiking boots instead of club shoes. I prefer those kinds of adventures more than the same old, same old. Knowing Spanish helps out in various situations. When you talk to shuttle drivers, concierge, and bartenders, most of them don't know a lick of English, and I don't think they're too interested in learning it either. And my philosophy is they shouldn't need to. We are guests in their country. I suggest you download Duolingo from the App Store a few weeks before you go. It teaches basic Spanish, and I was amazed how much I knew when communicating with them. The room that we stayed in was kind of a typical hotel room style, but the lady who cleans up after you also stocks your refrigerator with sodas, water, and beer every day. I also brought some of my own liquor from Duty Free at the airport because I like the strong stuff. But at the many bars throughout the resort, you can order any drink you want for no charge. Just substitute Jack Daniels for Jim Bean and you'll be alright. The food was outstanding. The main buffet had about 10 tables of selections to choose from and they were open all day pretty much. They also had multiple restaurants where you would have to get a reservation for, and those restaurants had different country themed options. There were a few things that could have been better. My main gripe was having to pay separately for internet. It was about an extra $12. Plus there was a few timeshare reps that wanted to convince us to go to a timeshare presentation and get money off of the excursions that needed to be paid for. I've been to those presentations before and they claim it to be 90 minutes, but they usually end up being about two and a half hours and end off with an argument with the overzealous sales dude acting like you don't want his deal cause you broke. Nah dude, it's just that I already have a travel company and no matter how you slice it, I get better deals from. The best part of this trip is I was able to pay for it with profits I've been making as an independent travel agent. Becoming an independent travel agent is the best way to make an extraordinary income while doing what we love, traveling. You'll be able to work from home or any location in the world on your phone or laptop. There's no experience necessary. You can work the system part-time until your residual income exceeds your day job income, like I did. All of the training is provided by people who love helping families and are already experts at creating generational wealth for themselves and their families. Once you look into it, it will be a no-brainer. Contact me on the link below when you're ready to take the next step to travel and financial freedom. I want to give a big shout out to Ronald Neighbors and Michael who recently joined the Army of Kings who are supporting Passport Kings via Patreon. You and people like you help me create quality videos and as promised, all donations will go to improving the quality of videos and nothing else. Hotel Occidental or Occidental in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic is simple but modern. Rooms feature air conditioning, flat screen TVs and rainfall showers. Given the property's tremendous size, amenities are predictably numerous. Three freshwater pools have abundant poolside seating while the zero entry pool features ocean views. Occidental seven sit down restaurants and four quick bite eateries offers food from Asian to Italian. Like many other massive resorts in this part of the DR, there are a number of features on offers here. The main draw is the wide sandy beach, which is lined with lounge chairs and palm trees. And when you decide to go to the DR, check out Occidental or go anywhere where you'll be treated like a king, a passport king. Peace.